Podoconus is a, a, a non-infectious disease caused by uh, long-term exposure to red clay soil and it's common among uh, farmers usually who go on barefoot. Uh, worldwide, it's estimated that there are 4 million cases of podoconiasis and 25% of the cases are existing in Ethiopia and Ethiopia bears a huge burden with uh, 1 million cases and 11 million uh, people at risk of the disease. They are badly neglected. So they are really outcasted, I could say. So I'm not alone. I'm not I'm not alone. 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 It is hard to bring it to the dragon to Kavagur, Kortigur Yale, but I will tell you that you are a devil, and you are a rock, and you are a rock. I am a man who is 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 a man ولكنني <تصفيق> Orthodox Christian Charity, registered in the U.S. and engaged in development and relief programs throughout the world and providing help without discrimination. IOCC has been operating in Ethiopia since 2004, mainly in response to HIV AIDS epidemic and was helping and assisting millions of Ethiopians to prevent care and treat HIV AIDS. One of the programs which started in 2011 was podoconiosis. When the pilot project started by IOCC, uh, we first just chose Debra Marcos town from the town. The town has more than seven cabalis and we select randomly four cabalis and took uh, a baseline data uh, to assess how much uh, affected individuals by this disease are found. So, uh, based on uh, the evidence that we found, we, we, we found from the four cabalis, uh, we start the treatment, giving the treatment for one year for 200 uh, affected individuals. During that time, uh, a lot of patients from uh, different neighboring areas, from West Gojam, East Gojam zone in the region, came and registered. I remember that within one year, there were in our waiting list, there were more than 2,000 patients uh, waiting for the treatment. But there were no enough funds to cover, to give the treatment. Research is an important aspect of uh, podoconiasis prevention and treatment. The treatment is a simple hygiene, hygiene treatment. Uh, we teach them to keep their hygiene, to wash uh, soap uh, and water, to wash their first washing of their uh, leg. And then if the treatment is it's a soft swelling type, we, we use bandage to compress the swelling. If that's very advanced stage, we try to also uh, to, to give some physiotherapy massaging for one to two weeks.
we are uh, assessing the geographical distribution, how many people are really at risk of the disease and how many people are affected by the disease. So the information generated from the mapping will give us an uh, exact number of people affected due to the disease. Also, it will give us the geographical distribution of the disease and it will help us to uh, plan accordingly and uh, treat individuals who really need uh, the intervention. I was trying to learn more about shoemaking, artificial leg making, crutches and others. Historically, podokonesis was prevalent in Northern Africa and in Europe, and it was eliminated because of a widespread shoe wearing. So these researchers will devise the best approach to deliver uh, shoes and to eliminate the disease in our lifetime. Most of the time, I am facilitating and coordinating the shoe giving program here. As a giving partnership coordinator, uh, I am representing TOMS under the umbrella of IOCC. ከመናውቃቢን <laughs> ከቲማውን <laughs> Uh, there are uh, five non-governmental organizations that are implementing podokoniasis in Ethiopia. These are uh, IOCC, Mosi Food International, uh, Action on Podokoniasis Association, Ethiopian Catholic uh, Secretariat, and Ethiopian uh, Evangelical Mekane Jesus Church. These organizations are working in a scattered manner in Amahara, Oromia, South Nations and the Nationality People Regional States. To make this a countrywide activity, not only individual organizations. It was uh, noted that there is a need to uh, make a coordinating effort for better progress in podokonesis prevention and treatment. Consensus was reached between all podokonesis implementing partners to form a coordinating body uh, that coordinates the work of all these organizations and the, uh, to fill these gaps. As a result, NAPAN was uh, formed in November 2011 uh, with the support of Ministry of Health, IOCC, uh, and other stakeholders. As far as I have observed, the proto activity being done here is a good beginning. But since there are a lot of patients who are badly in need of this service, I think a lot has to be done.